down here at Lake's entrance. Apologies for the wind noise. Just setting up my Pat Nostra. It is very windy and cold out here. Kind of uh, prime time salmon weather really. Tide's coming up. Got about an hour and a half to two hours before the tide arrives. So we've arrived, we're just setting up. Myself and my uh, father-in-law today down at Lake's entrance. So let's see if we can't get ourselves a couple of salmon or tailor on the video. Using my uh, trustworthy Jarvis Walker Devil. Pretty much my go-to setup. You can see my mini tackle box which I travel with to the beach. Saves me uh, carrying the, uh, the whole kit. Nice heavy sinker, number five. And I usually go with one circle hook and one long shank. And if I feel like there's a need for a lure, got the popper and the, uh, the armor slice there as well. Anyway, let's see how we go. Here's another thing I do when I'm going for salmon and tail or whatever at the beach. One piece of pilchard, one prawn. Usually go with the prawn down the bottom just to try and keep off the crabs and uh, chuck the filtered on top and hopefully the salmon hit that one. Uh, here we go. First cast into the depths. Let's see what we can get. not too long. Now I'm a big big fan of just leaving the rod in your holder. Your salmon, your tailor, they aren't going to need much hooking. Many people will tell you hold the rod in the hand but I'm not a believer in that one. Just hook something up. Let's see what it is. <laughs> yeah. Only a small one, I think. Let's have a look. Small salmon. Probably legal size, maybe. <laughs> Not gonna take him. See you, mate. Just caught one small Australian salmon. Maybe, maybe 20 centimeters, maybe 25 centimeters, somewhere there. Let's see if we can get a big one amongst the school. That's better. Oh, that's much better. Bit of weight in this one. Either that or it's two. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, get out of the waves. Get out of the waves. There are you? He's just running up and down. Oh, no. It's a bit better. That's much better! 
Nat's gonna come home with us for a curry. Let's see. He's around the 50s. He's an elbow slapper. <laughs> He's good for a curry, I reckon. Curry size, yeah? <laughs> and give him a quick measure and see what he looks like. Maybe 40, 50. Just lay it down. No, not even 40. It's over 40. Oh, just 40? Yeah. So we have two caught for the morning, one about 20, and one just on 40, or just over 40. Let's see if we can get another couple, and that'll get us the curry we want. A nice Sri Lankan curry. Usually, as everybody knows, the Aussie salmon hang out in packs in schools. But of late, I've been catching one and then it's generally done. I'm hoping today's a little different. We can get at least two. Well, it's been two casts uh, since the uh, salmon, the 40 centimeter salmon, so looks like it's another one of those days. One and done. At least a caught one. Can't complain too much. But let's hope for a, at least one more. Salmon are a school fish. I keep telling myself that anyway. Because I'm not getting more than one most days these times. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, got some bites. Got some bites. Come back, baby. Get away, you winged rats. Getting a bite, getting a bite, come on, take it. Yes, we got him. Not a big one, pretty small one in fact. Let's have a look. I think we got a double hook up. Ah, we got one over there. And hopefully, one over here. <laughs> Same size. Look. <laughs> Same size. Well, I'm going to say that's twenty, twenty-five. Back here, mate. Until next time. Well, the tide's at the bottom, turning, and uh, the bite has gone dead cold. So I think we'll spend ourselves another 20 minutes. Nothing changes. Home we go. One uh, 40, 41 centimeter salmon in the bag and a, a couple of the small ones caught and returned. Not too bad for a morning. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning or later today we can get, come back and uh, have another crack. My worst enemy at the beach, always stealing your bait. <laughs> 